exhibit kind of takes us away from discovery and into more of the research work um, that is done post-discovery. What we also try to do with this exhibit is to make these hominins more relatable, something that you could feel an emotion towards. Um, and it's obviously difficult to do that when you have a skull. So face-to-face -face looks at this art of reconstruction all the way from understanding different aspects of hominin lifestyles to actually what they look like. Um, and that's done by a very famous paleo artist by the name of John Gerchi. John Gerchi has worked on Jurassic Park. Um, he has designed for National Geographic. And so we're very privileged to have Gerchi reconstructions of Australopithecus sediba and Homo naledi here at Marubu. So these reconstructions are extremely unique and they are the product of hours, months, sometimes years of just meticulous work and attention to detail. Sometimes the skulls are distorted and they first need to correct the skull. Once that is done, they have to go through a ton of research to look at how to place individual tissue markers on the skull where the tissue will then be placed over. Once those tissue markers are placed, they do the first layer of muscles and then another layer of muscles. And once all the muscle is done, they place the eyes in. And I think the eyes um, are one of the most difficult aspects to actually place. And then comes the process of doing the skin and the hair. So the hair is placed strand by strand. The artists actually look at the density of the hair, um, the thickness, and they try and recreate it. So it is a, it's a committed, committed process um, and it involves large teams doing all of this work together with this vision in mind of bringing together life. So throughout the exhibit we have a number of mirrors and I think this is what I'm most excited about when it comes to this exhibit. Yes, we're proud of the fossils but we do want the science to be accessible and we want evolution itself to be accessible to people. And that wasn't always the case. So by having these mirrors scattered throughout the exhibit, we want people to be able to see themselves reflected in the story of evolution, which has been told from a very colonial perspective in the past. So you wouldn't necessarily see an African face or see a black African face. Um, and possibly if you did, it could have been in a derogatory sense. So we wanted to give that story back to people and say when you step into Maruping and you see evolution, you are an important part of it. 